Whoa, so today, got my first piece of fan mail. Let's go ahead and open this puppy up. Let's see what we got. What? Whoa, it's a new motorcycle banana. Alright, so obviously that was just being retarded. Just being stupid. Oh, so this is actually what came from Amazon. Frame sliders. No cut frame sliders. So, um, these are Yanashiki. Um, I got these from Amazon. Clearly. I'll show you. I'll put the link in the description. Um, these are so no cut frame sliders um, go ahead and show you how to put these in if you don't know what frame sliders are they're kind of to just protect your plastics a little bit um, stop it from ruining all your fairings if you drop your bike or if you sitting there and you forget, forget to put your kickstand down or something this will just hit on the ground and it won't ruin your fairings so we'll go ahead and go outside and show you how to put those on alright so um, uh, Yanashiki frame sliders, um, figured I, I got them in, I did the unboxing, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how to put them on. Um, I have a 2014 R6, in case you guys didn't know. Um, first, obviously, you're going to need a motorcycle. You're going to need the frame sliders. These are super cheap. I'll put the link, I got them off Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. Um, uh, you might need a couple of delicious beers. You don't need them, but I'm sure they'll help. Oh, so good. I'm about to open one of those in a second. Um, one thing, you might not absolutely need a torque wrench, but I'm going to use it. Another thing you might not absolutely need, but it's a good idea. Um, I'm going to use the medium strength, um, Loctite thread locker. Just to kind of as a little extra insurance to make sure they don't work themselves loose with all the vibrations. All right, and the things you do need, um, a couple of basic tools. Most people, a lot of people have these. This is just an eight millimeter Allen wrench. So you do need that. We'll put everything there. Um, in my case, the the bolts that come with the sliders are actually not metric so you need an 11 16 socket and then a little extension um, you might be able to get by without the extension but it'll help so an 11 16 socket and extension and a ratchet and then a 12 millimeter socket in my case to take out the stock bolts oh. so that's everything you're gonna need we'll go ahead and get started first of all on the right side you can get a good look at my bike here. The bolt that you need to take out to install the frame slider on the right side is this one right here that we're looking at. Right there. So you can see kind of where it is. This is the signal light. It's almost directly behind the signal light and the little opening in the fairing. You don't have to take the fairings off of this. So, so before you get started and get your hands all dirty, go ahead and open yourself a delicious Dos Equis. Have a few sips. Obviously, you don't want to drink before you go riding. My bike is filthy, actually, so I don't plan on going riding again today. If you're wondering, you should probably never drink and ride. It takes a lot of motor skills to pilot one of these fucking things. So, probably don't want to go out drinking when you're riding the motorcycle. Just my two cents. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, sorry for the shakiness of the camera. So again, you get your 12 millimeter socket. Um, I just so happen to have a deep socket. You don't need a deep socket. Um, and a, any old ratchet. And you're going to loosen this bolt here and take it out. Um, I think these are torqued to around 30 something. 31, 32 foot pounds. I don't remember. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think they go to 31 foot pounds. Whenever you're taking this out, be careful. Because they have three little pieces 
in there with the bolt. So you want to make sure, ow, another thing, if you did get back routing, this shit will be hot. So you take out your stock bolt. You want to make sure you don't lose, they have two of these little gold pieces and the silver thing in here. You want to make sure that stays in there. So you leave that in there, don't lose it. And then you take your stock bolt out and do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, one thing I forgot to talk about with the Yanashiki kit, the puck, the slider that actually has the cutout in it and the little dimple on the bottom is for the right side of your bike. And you have two of these bolts, the hex head bolts are the ones that actually go into the motor mounts. So you want the longer one on the right side. Longer bolt on the right side and the slider that has the cutout or the little dimple. Yours might not have a cutout, but the one that has the little thing sticking out goes on the right hand side with the long bolt. Right. So you got your slider ready. Mine has a cutout. In my case, it doesn't actually need the cutout to get past the fairing, so I'm going to just put the slit facing down to where you can't really notice it. And then you want to make sure you got the right bolt. This is the longer one of the two um, hex head bolts. It comes with an Allen bolt. That bolt does not go into your motor mount. It does not go into the bike. It goes to the adapter. So don't make sure you're using the hex ones, not the uh, Allen key bolt. And then, oh shit, that's a lot. Oh shit. Well, that's kind of a lot of thread locker. Um, don't put too much. Um, just put a little bit of uh, Loctite on there. Right. You put a little bit on the end of the bolt, and then you go ahead and... I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to pass it through. And then I'm going to take the socket, the 1116 socket, and I'm going to use this to hand start it so that you don't cross thread it. Make sure you be careful when you're doing this, because if you cross thread this thing in your engine, gonna cause you some serious fucking heartache. So you just stall that. Like I said, I'm keeping the notch down so you can't really see it when I'm riding just because I don't need the notch in my case. Alright, so that's hand tightened. Then I'm gonna take my torque wrench and I'm gonna tighten it to about 31 foot pounds. So that's in there about 31, 32 foot pounds of torque and you're done with the right side. So we'll go ahead and get moved over to the opposite side and show you from there. Alright, so these are the pieces for the left side. You got the slider that is flat and it doesn't have a notch. You have the little adapter. You have the Allen. Um, key bolt this actually goes through the peg into the adapter so you you want to make sure that you don't put this in your bike you want the hex this one is the one that actually goes into the motorcycle the little hex key bolt goes from the slider itself to the adapter so do not put that in your bike it's a different thread pitch and you'll fuck some shit up and then you're gonna have, I'm gonna have a little bit of blue Loctite. Um, I'm gonna Loctite the shit out of this in a little while just to get it on the adapter. But, so that's what you need on the left side. And, just so you can see, or hopefully you can see, again, on the left side, just behind the signal light in this little cutout of the fairings, there's a little bolt. So this bolt here, the one that you should be looking at, that's the one you want to take out. See if I could get it from the top. So this is the top cut out of the fairing where the radiator pipe sits. And that's the bolt you actually want to be getting out. Okay. So on the left side, you need the same tools. You need your, your 12 millimeter socket and ratchet. You need your extension and your 11 16 socket. Um, the only additional tool is going to be the 8mm that's for the left side and this is to attach the hex bolt through the slider to the actual to the little adapter that connects to the motorcycle so that's what you need this for first thing you're going to do 
take out that 12 millimeter bolt again. I'm gonna use the extension on this side just to make it kind of easier on myself. I'll try and see if I can get you guys looking at what I'm doing here. Okay, so this bolt here, um, I'm giving you a top view just because that's the kind of the only half decent view that I can get. So you're gonna take out that 12 millimeter stock bolt. Um, some bikes, mine's a 2014 and it doesn't have those, um, those little pieces like the other side does on the left side. So there's your stock bolt. The next thing you're gonna need is your, this is the shorter of the two that I told you goes on the left side. This is the shorter of the two actual hex bolts and you're gonna need your little adapter. The little piece that sticks out goes toward the bike. So this is actually gonna be inside of the little hole where you took your stock bolt out of. So you want it facing inside like that. And then the bolt will go in it like so. Okay, well, try not to spill it on your shoes, I guess. Um, I don't know if this shit's supposed to be that liquidy. I don't know if you can tell, but this thread lock shit is really liquidy. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. If you know, just let me know in the comments, maybe, um, if anybody watches this crap even. So you put a little bit of uh, Loctite on the bolt. I put it through after just so it doesn't get all inside of here. And then you want to thread that in the hole where you took the original out. So you guys can kind of see what's going on in here. Um, sorry about the camera angles. It's just a really fucked up area. It's not like it's easy to do this shit and film it. So you get it started. Make sure you start it by hand. Just like everything else. And then you can go ahead and use your 11. 16th socket to tighten it down and then torque it a little. I'm going to show you what it looks like before I put the uh, actual slider on. After you install the adapter, that's what it's going to look like. The view from the top. Oh, so the last step, you're gonna take your slider. Remember, for the left side, you want the one that's flat on the bottom, and it, mine doesn't have a cutout like the other side did. And your hex bolt. Put a little bit of Loctite on here. Actually, I'm gonna put a lot on here. Drop it through the peg, the slider. And then you use your eight millimeter Allen, stick it in there inside the bolt, and you just put that into the little adapter where I showed you. Make sure you don't cross thread it. It's still aluminum. Um, I'll show you guys a trick. If you don't have one of those fancy um, T handle or the ratchet style um, Allen sets all you do take your allen you put it in there make sure it's locked in the bolt and then you take a box in wrench and you just slip it over and you use the wrench to actually crank down and tighten that real good um, and that's not going anywhere all right and that's it i'll show you guys how that looks one last time okay so there's your slider that's how it should look, that's how it should sit. Um, again from the top, just so you can make sure you get it right. That's what it looks like from the top side. And this is looking just through the fairing right there. So there you go. Now you got frame sliders on your R6. If you like my videos, go ahead and give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, let me know in the comments why. <laughs> um, 
if you like all of my videos and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Again, thank you guys for watching. Bye.